we are heading out of Dublin today. We are going up north to Houth. Houth, I think it's pronounced Houth. <laughs> Houth, okay, I'm wrong. I heard nerdy in the background, Houth. My apologies. There's a seaside fishing village with some of the most amazing seafood. Apparently all the seafood that comes into Dublin comes in from Houth. So we're gonna be checking this out. Get out of the city for a moment, see more of the countryside of Dublin, even though it's not super far out. And uh, we're gonna be taking the train to do it if you haven't figured it out already. <laughs> right now we missed our next train, so we're waiting for one more. So a little short wait, and then we'll be there. How? Ah, I was, ah, I was, how? I, I was right. I was right. So, because we're leaving Dublin and everyone's heading into Dublin and it's work day, we have the whole train car to ourselves currently. There's still a few stops, so someone might hop on, but for the moment, this is a private train car for Nerdy and I. This would be a very bad game of Where's Nerdy? Okay, it got a little bit better. When we wake, <laughs> hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Well, we have made it. <laughs> End of the line house. It is this gorgeous seaside village. I was trying to get some footage on the way in, but the windows, like all mass transportation, are a little dirty. So I'm hoping the camera was able to focus easily. If not, then I may have had to cut the footage out. So if you didn't see any, I do apologize. Right now, Nerdy and I are trying to figure out what we want to do for breakfast, because there's so many options, and obviously we're only here for a short bit, so we don't want to miss out on any, any wonderfulness. Such a beautiful town. I can't wait to show you all. Here we go. Found a nice little map of health. Here we are. We have taken a short bus ride while in Houth, and we are heading to a lighthouse. Got a little bit of a walk here now, but it's still the misty mornings here. So we're gonna kind of take advantage of it while we're, while we got the weather. Still haven't had any coffee. Still haven't had any breakfast. We're still trying to figure that out. Everything looks so good here. We're not sure which we want to do in the limited time we have. Check this walk out. It looks like the mist is starting to break. 
but that means our view is that much better. This is just absolutely gorgeous. The Irish Sea with my Irish lass. morning on a train to Houth. We also did a hike to the lighthouse. It is time for Nerdy and I to finally get some food and coffee. But we had no clue where to get it. So we decided to ask some locals and Nerdy had an interesting experience. I talked to the bus driver, but the bus driver was from Belfast and he's not from here. Okay. So as I was, I was walking away and this nice old lady came up to me and she's like, are you all right here? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just looking for the best chipper. And she said, best shop down by the cream houses, but she's not sure if they're open. But before she said that, she said, I wish I had my car. I would just take you home. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's funny because while Nerdy was talking to, to that sweet lady, I uh, saw a, a lovely couple walking on top, and so I decided to ask them. Essentially, they said that there's a lot of touristy food now, but they recommended, if you want the best fish, to go to the pier where the fish markets are and go to Kish. So now we're kind of torn here, and I'm not sure which one. And honestly, for us, it's probably gonna be great no matter which way, so. Uh, you, you'll see soon enough because of editing. So yay. All right, well, we just couldn't help ourselves. We ended up coming back to Poe Tea here in Houth because we just wanted some breakfast tea. It sounded so good, and we ended up deciding to get some toast. So we'll show you what we got when it comes to the table. We still need to get some seafood before we leave, though. That's still on the table. And we've done so much eating. Nerdy, what'd you get? Toast with um, almond butter and fruit. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, and it's maybe honey, but I'm not sure. I got babo toast. Avocado, we got toast, eggs, some greens. Ooh, this looks so good. I know we just had a little snack, but everyone told us that we have to try the fish and chips from Beshoff. We're gonna get some goujon, I think is how it's pronounced, which essentially are just like chicken tenders, but for fish. <laughs> so it's gonna get us, it's gonna get us some food, but we're not gonna stuff ourselves too much because we still gotta try fish from one other place too before we leave here. So we're waiting on our meal right now. Nice little bodega type setup inside. And we'll see how things taste. I have high hopes because, oh, and we're also getting a fresh seafood chowder that they make. And again, everything comes from right there. So can't get much fresher than that. All right, so how is it? Okay, so is it better than burdocks? No? No. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta try this. Can you put a little tartar sauce on for me? It's fresh, that's for sure. Mm. It's different, but I don't think it's as good. Okay, so here's the thing. I can. This is super fresh, and the cook on it is so clean. I mean, it's a little oily, but it's, I mean, it's fried fish. It's supposed to be a little, but it's not bad. Um, wow, it is really clean. So here's the thing. It's just a different flavor. So really, I think it comes down to what your flavor preference is. Because I think I like this more, but mainly because I like how clean it is. Like the taste on it is so clean. All right, hold on. I'm going to try this chowder real quick. Now this is, this is thick chowder. This, this is the oh, That's good chowder. But 
the chips are definitely better at Burnock. Oh. <clears throat> better burdock. <laughs> burdock has better chips. I personally like the fish here. And, and the chowder is really crispy. It has more of a tempura feel to it. Yeah. I but I like burdock. Yeah. yeah. This is really good though. This is awesome. <laughs> Best shop brothers. I would recommend it. We finally made ourselves back this way, full circle, to check out the pier. You have a great day. All right, nerdy. What'd you end up getting? Chocolate protein ball. It's pretty good. It's like chocolate espresso. All right, hold on, hold on. Ah. <laughs> it's almost kind of like an oatmeal cookie. Hmm. Would you like another bite? <laughs> okay, so it's been a few minutes since I, I tried the bite because we actually ran into uh, someone here and we just struck up some conversation and was having a great old time. So uh, Anton, if you end up watching this, hello buddy. Uh, and unless we meet up with you again, <laughs> Unless we meet up with you again, I forgot to ask if we could get a photo together, so I do apologize. Uh, or maybe you were going to say no anyway, so in which case, maybe I save some awkwardness. But Anton, hello. It was such a pleasure getting to talk with you. And uh, I know you said you felt bad for taking up our time. You did not take up our time. Our whole point here is to have fun and experience and, and meet people. So it was wonderful. <laughs> now, getting back to this chocolate bar, ball. That I somehow did not finish before he finished talking. Yeah, it was delicious. It's it it, it is kind of like more of like a oatmeal-y peanut butter texture, mm. but it's del it's really good. There, I, I could taste a little bit of the espresso, but it's not very heavy on it, and the uh, the chocolate's really good. So I'm gonna have to take another bite off camera because it's gonna take me a long time to chew it, and I, this isn't a mukbang. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, sign off on this portion for a second so I can eat this before Nerdy eats it all. So it's all mine. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. See ya. Heading into this trip, Dirty and I did not have anything specifically hammered out outside of going to Citizen Con. Day three in Dublin was just so jam packed that there's no way I could fit it all in one video. So I'm going to make this a two parter. In part two, Nerdy and I wrap up our day in Houth. We'll take the train back to Dublin where Nerdy and I will go to Dublinia and then one of Dublin's most beautiful locations. Stay tuned adventurers and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.